Yes, so now what is machine learning? So machine learning consists of different algorithms which uh, we make to allow a computer to do specific tasks without handmade explicit rules and by learning from the data. So instead of we sitting down, like we discussed in the last class about signals and signal processing, so instead of we uh, making handmade rules uh, with different signal processing techniques, now we want our uh, computer to uh, basically we want to make algorithms which will process the data and find out relationships between different entities so that all these tasks could be done by the models, by the algorithms which we write. So basically we define some algorithms to allow the computer to do these tasks without handmade explicit rules but by learning from data. Okay, this is a very uh, simple representation of a machine learning module, of a machine learning algorithm or a machine learning model. So what does it do? So what does it do? It will, this is a model, F, this is the input. And this is the output. It takes some form of input and it gives some form of output. We saw the example of speech recognition. What was the input there? The input is speech. What is the output? The output is the text. We saw uh, brain signals. Let's say we want to use brain signals to control a wheelchair whether if I, if I think uh, that drive straight it will the wheelchair will go straight if I think turn left or turn right it will turn in that direction and if I think of stopping the machine uh, the wheelchair will stop so then the model which is uh, giving commands to the wheelchair that model the input is the eg brain signals the output is the corresponding command which comes by classifying the input into one of these four commands. Right. Similarly for uh, text processing, uh, let's say we have a spam detector, uh, whether the input email is a spam or it's a genuine good email. So if so that the model is, is a binary classifier because it is classifying the input into two classes either it is a spam or not a spam the input is the email and the output is one of these two classes in this way we can define uh, our model and the which transforms an input into a desired output how does it happen so this is a very general overview of machine learning algorithm so this is called training. So first, you, get, you collect a lot of data which you will use to train your model. And later, you will collect a lot of data which, which you will use to test your model. Training data is separate from the test data. So let's say I want to design an email, spam email detection. So I will collect lots of emails, uh, let us say, each email is labeled with either it is spam or not spam. So it means we have the ground truth. Ground truth means ground truth means the true labels, data with true labels. or y desired, the true y, uh, that is called the ground truth, y, y desired is the true labels. And then uh, if we use this data x and y d pair, so basically we have x comma y d, and we use this 
to learn this relationship what kind of x correspond to the spam email what kind of x correspond to a non spam email and we train our model so this is the algorithm which trains the model to do that to to learn this mapping so that if you give this x then output should be close to 5d so this is the training and then after the training is done you give out this model for testing during testing you give an unknown x uh, for which uh, the model will predict y this x was not used for training mind it the test data was not used for training you just give it to the model the model will predict some y you will compare the y with the actual test data label y desired of the test data if it matches then you say yes it is very it is performing very nice if it does not match the user will give a feedback to the model it says the user will give a feedback to the training algorithm and it will say no no i didn't like this i didn't like the performance of this model so so in so in this way the feedback can come from the user or the feedback can come from the training from the test data and in this way you will come to know how good or bad is your algorithm this is very important how you evaluate your model some models will perform very good by making very less mistakes but while some other models will do very bad because they will make a lot of mistakes